A very warm welcome to you all, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I have really picked myself up for the occasion. And a special welcome to Nancy Keenholz. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for confessions. Before you start looking around you, wondering whether you can detect possible clients, look straight at me and ask yourself, has the director of the Amsterdam Historical Museum experiences of his own with prostitution? My answer must be, yes, I have. Nice ones, but awkward ones too. I'll tell you all about it. Being my dog, during the lunch break every day, I became acquainted with several of the women that worked there, especially when it was warm. Some of them would open their doors and start a short and friendly conversation with me. About the weather, of course, or about the dog. And my girlfriend, now my wife, was at that time living in New York. But she returned after 9-11. She offered to walk the dog so that I could carry on working. When she returned to the office, she looked rather strangely at me and said, Paul, I just had a conversation with the lady around the corner. After she had shouted at me, I know that dog. He belongs to the nice guy who comes here every day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will now give the floor to Laura Dijk. Well known to everyone in Holland as presenter of the television news, who did research on prostitutes in connection with her involvement with the Dutch theatre version of Paolo Coelho's novel 11 Minutes. Holland is one of the very few countries in the world where prostitution is legalized. But still you can read every week an article about the moral consequences. Politicians are always busy to contain the nuisance as good as they can. The wallages, the wallages are not anymore what they were in the 80s during the time the Boedengracht was made. Time has changed, of course. The wallages are now reduced and artists were allowed to use the rooms of the horse as a studio or a gallery. Welcome home, Boerengracht. Welcome back to Amsterdam, Nancy Pienholz. Can you please come forward so we can declare the Boerengracht exhibition to be officially opened?